Hello, uh, this is Kiki. Uh, I am doing a, a uh, oh, uh, recording test um, for uh, p uh, a PS1 emulator. Uh, a fellow up here uh, who I subscribe to who's kind of new to the thing as well. Uh, was asking uh, about how to, uh, what uh, emulators and whatnot might work for PS1 to uh, do recordings off of. And uh, I think I found one to answer his question. Uh, it's a PCSR, I mean XR uh, version 1.9.92, uh, Windows 32. Uh, also, the uh, program that I'm recording this off from is a uh, CD Soft Game Recorder. Uh, again, since my computer doesn't have line in recording, I can't record sound, but uh, as you can see here, the uh, rate's pretty good. Uh, and things seem to be going pretty, uh, pretty well. Uh, Basically, uh, I decided to do Army Man World at War. Uh, this is due in part to another game that uh, I'm going to be doing in comparison. Um, but uh, it won't be on this game, but it'll be along the uh, World at War line of games. Uh, called, uh, I think it is, uh, it's either... Army Man, World at War, Air, Land, and Sea, or it's Team Assault, I can't remember which one it is, uh, that has a uh, notable uh, B-17 moment, and uh, I will be comparing uh, B-17 Bomber uh, for Atari. Uh, I can't remember the full name of it, but there's a B-17 Bomber uh, for the DS as well. And uh, of course, like I said before, there's a BS, I mean, a B-17 bomber seen in uh, Army Man. So, I uh, figured I would show it off. And uh, let the uh, audience compare uh, which scene does the best for the uh, line of BC, I mean, B-17 bomber uh, type gameplay. Uh, basically, what I'm doing here is I'm just running around the uh, boot camp area. Uh, and trying out the various weapons, and uh, like I said, this is Army Man World at War. Uh, most people are familiar with the uh, Sarge's Heroes series of Army Man, as well as the uh, this is the original Army Man, and also the uh, PC versions of Army Man, where it's a top-down view. Uh, but this is the uh, other line of. Uh, Army Man series that uh, it takes f less focus on Sarge and uh, basically just it's kind of more like a World War Two esque style of uh, gameplay and uh, it's just like a similar Army Man but just instead of it being Sarge you're just a uh, general infantry. Uh, and also, uh, on one of the uh, Army Man series, uh, I think it's Team Assault, uh, you have like nine or ten individual characters uh, that are not linear with any of the uh, Sarge's Heroes line of uh, games. So, uh, well, no, no, there might be one that's in the uh, RTS, uh, Bullseye, I think he's in it, but uh, that's it. Uh, I might be wrong there. Um, but uh, as you can see here, uh, the controls are rather smooth. Uh, the only problem with this emulator that I'm playing on uh, is uh, I can't seem to get the controls configured, so I'm kind of half pressing buttons to figure out which one, which buttons do what. And of course, since this is a PS1 game, there's going to be glitches and stuff like that. Um, the uh, Army Man's, uh also there is one uh, section of the game uh, that would like to try in this boot camp 
but I can't seem to get the run right is this uh, combat range here. Uh, basically it's kind of like uh, you just walk around and you shoot uh, pop-up targets. Unfortunately I only was able to get the targets to move once and I couldn't do it again. So uh, if anybody wants to show it with the actual targets moving rather than in place, uh, let me know. Like I said, I've only been able to do it once, and uh, I would like to try to see if I can get it to go normally. Uh, I probably won't be doing uh, LPs of the uh, Army Man games. Uh, this is mostly in part to uh to just while I'm unsure about my emulator uh going with it and uh I've got a lot of other projects I need to do. Uh but if anybody has any requests of me to do it then I'll go ahead and do it. Uh but I just want to get caught up on my projects first. Uh the also, uh, for people who are on my subscriber list, uh, I do apologize for uh, suddenly uploading and removing videos. Uh, this is due to uh, my, uh, my microphone. Uh, basically, what, what happened is I had to set my microphone up wrong, and it recorded my voice rather quiet. So that means that really uh, nobody could really hear me talk. And... Uh, it kind of ticked me off. Uh, the only ones that came out was my Mabby Nagi ones, and uh, that, those ones are doing okay. But uh, I had a player request, to, I mean, music request to add in a peak of music to it, so I had to take that down. I was just making sure that the uh, commentary volume was okay. Uh, basically, it's uh, what I normally do with my recordings. Uh, for those who are new, uh, is basically like I'll I just take the raw footage and then I have to move it to another computer. And the uh, sound driver on the other computer is messed up, uh, and I don't know how to fix it. It has this weird echoing noise going on with it, and. Uh, and that's could do to a new driver, an ADI driver, and uh, if anybody can tell me how to kind of fix that, I would appreciate it. Uh, but, like I said, uh, for right now, it is going to be uh, some tests and whatnot uh, to see if I can get to work, and uh, I'll be doing uploads when I can. But I'm going to be behind on it. It's uh, this is also one of the more unique things that keep this separated from the Sarge's Heroes line is you can actually use uh, turrets. Uh, Army Man 3D, which was the first Sarge game uh, for the PS1, was was when he first incorporated vehicles. And uh, for some reason during the Sarge's Heroes line, they just completely took out the vehicles. Uh, and that kind of by kind of bit though, because that's half the fun. And the uh, World at War series brought all the vehicles back. Uh, depending upon which game you want to play, you can even uh, use submarines. You can f be in hel in aircraft. You can be in a uh, be in a gunship. Uh, you know, like a little river boat. Uh, so. It was a lot of fun, and uh, they had a lot more fun with the series, rather than, you know, it just seemed kind of like the Sergeant's Heroes line was a little forced. But this one they had a little more fun with, it, looked, it, it appeared anyway for me. And uh, grenades are one of the... One of my annoying things here is just more because you don't see the grenade, so you can't base your shots on it. The uh, bar lies to you. Uh, you also notice that there's two items that I haven't been using. One is the uh, bayonet, and the other one is the uh, binoculars. Also, that's another feature that's different from the other Army Man games that's only unique for the World War series is you have a bayonet. 
and it's kind of cool and it actually does work like normal bayonet you just stab the enemy and wait till it tries and then he poofs on you and uh, I am a little disappointed on kind of the direction that army man went uh, as far as the old and the new uh, like the top-down version, a lot of those were uh, had a good following, and then uh, of course, like you had a series like these with the PS1. That uh, while the graphics weren't exactly the best, they actually did have quite a decent, decent gameplay feature to it. And then you just kind of had the Sarge's Heroes line, where it, a lot of the games were fun. I like Sarge's Heroes one more than I did number two. Uh, again, number two, I just kind of felt they just kind of ran out of ideas and just it thudded. And uh, granted, there was a couple stages I liked in it, but it just wasn't the same as the first one. Uh, for I mean, the Sergeant Heroes one. Of course, I only played the uh, N64 version, so I don't know if the uh, the PS1 version was any better or the PC version. And then you had a uh, like Green Rogue, and then you had a uh, Sarge's War, which was uh, really I I don't really get the idea of that one at all. I never played it. I didn't play any of those two, so I don't re can't really talk about you know uh, the pros or cons on that one. If anybody wants to leave a comment about it or just want to talk about it, that's fine too. And like I said before, this is just a test video for uh, Marche to uh, kind of take a look at it and uh, see if this will help him out any for any video projects he does. Uh, again, I would like to remind him, please finish your uh, Donkey Kong Land uh, LP because I was I really liked the your attempted humor at it and uh, it just kind of stunk that you just plopped off the face of the earth on that one. Uh, also, I do like your Castlevania series. Uh, I, I I get that you were trying to go for the uh, 13 videos there. Uh, if you could kind of elaborate that more on what you're meaning for it, uh, go ahead. Uh, but I do like the series and uh, hope you do bring some more. and. Uh, like I said, uh, now you're welcome to send me PMs and whatnot too. Just, I mean, uh, seems like I got buggy to get a little bit of a reply back. Uh, if, but if you're ever open for a dual commentary or something, just let me know. I'll try to set something up with you. I mean, I'm not as good as you, but, you know, let's go ahead and. To me, you know, just do an invite. Uh, anyway, for uh, for future projects, uh, basically, uh, I'm focusing right now on getting my uh, ma my uh, bowel infill up and going. Uh, for those who are curious, I finally finished uh, Generation Three, and I'll be working on Generation Seven. Uh, I might do some video footage for that one uh, since that's another one of those uh, underly played s generations and uh, supposedly he has a he gave me a Pika challenge uh, for those who don't know Abby uh, Pika uh, P-E-A-C-A uh, that dungeon is uh, supposedly one of the uh, hardest dungeons and he wants me to solo that, and uh, I and he wants me to do a death counter and all that good stuff. So so joy, and also he wants me to try this game called uh, Desert Bus. Uh, Desert Bus was originally in a game uh, by developed by Penn and Teller, and this was a mini game uh, where you drive from Tulsa to Las Vegas. And there's an actual uh, charity event that's based off of that. 
Uh, and I did not know that until I looked it up. And it is intentionally boring, as uh, you take as in this real time of simulation of driving from L.A. to, I mean, from uh, Las Vegas to Tulsa, or Tulsa to Las Vegas. Why people could take that in one sitting, I have no idea. And yet these guys that are doing the ch charity event, and I will have a link up when I do that, it'll be, uh, do this, like, eight people and they do it in a 24 hour period they're like not 24 hour period I mean like uh, like three days or something like that and they heart do like shifts and whatnot playing it non-stop and uh, but that's something for in the future uh, also my uh, emulator for SNS crapped out but uh, this will be Kiki signing out uh, thank you